Welcome to Car Design Academy and this continuation of my SL Coupe study uh, along with this manned aerial quadcopter. Uh, in the last video, I started to detail out the, the front end, de uh, the headlights, the intake, and this, this um, protrusion, which is going to house a large three-pointed star. Uh, in, this, um, in today's demo, I'm going to show you something very important, which is how to start to define the separation of glass and body. Um, that's that's a very important part of every vehicle design, and it's very important that it's done in the right way to keep the, the integrity of the body. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to take my, my body layer. I'm going to add a new layer called glass. I'm going to grab my original body, raise it. Um, yeah, about a, about a meter, and I'm going to drop it into a glass layer, and I'm going to give it some transparency. Then what I'm going to do, actually, while we're while we're on the glass layer, we're going to delete away. So we're going to create this sort of aircraft style canopy. So I'm going to delete away everything that isn't glass. Um, and I'm going to have this this protrusion coming out. That you'll see in a minute. So that's that's my glass. And I'm going to put that on a transparent layer. Um, I'm actually going to turn that off. So now I'm going to take the body. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer, another duplicate of the body, because I'm pretty happy with this body. So in the event that I mess things up, um, I can have the original body ready to go again if I need to do another iteration. So I'm going to put that into another layer called body five. I'm going to just save that for later. So I'm going to go into this body. And uh, going back to my my sketch layer, you can see I, I have a general idea of what I want the shape of the of the canopy to be. So I'm going to go into my poly mode, and I'm going to just start to delete away the surfaces around the that uh, that curve that I generated. And then I'm just going to tailor these, these points to be closer to the, the design intent. So now when I go into Smooth View, you can see it's more or less matching the sketch. Um, I'm also going to cut away this this uh, indentation. I'm going to go go ahead and turn off the sketch layer again, and I can bring back my glass, bring it back down. Now I'm starting to have this this separation of glass and body. Now it still needs a lot of work, so I'm going to get my um, I'm going to take my whole my whole opening here and flange it. So you can kind of see what I'm doing in Polyview. I've just added this even 
flange going around. Same thing on the front here. I can add an additional edge loop to control that flange. What I'm going to do is bring this into a brighter shade of silver. And that way I can have some contrast with the glass. Um, I'm going to turn the glass dark now so we can have a bit of contrast. And, and just start to reposition the glass just below that flange. So you remember what I talked about with the putting a hem on it. You can see I have this nice little little offset between the glass and the body. Now it's not consistent, so I can now I can just go in and add an add some additional uh you know just edit these points a bit so that I can maintain a more consistent offset between the glass and the body. So I'm just going going around and adjusting adjusting all the points. to get that nice even offset. And back here, I'm just going to adjust the body work a little bit. Now I have this nice, even offset between the glass and the body. And that is how you separate glass and body. Now I can continue to go on and refine the uh, the glass and the body just to get the right exact shape that I want. So that's how you separate glass and body. And uh, from there you can continue to refine those shapes and forms. So thanks for watching Car Design Academy, and I will catch you on the next video.